Stand by. Hi, we're in New York with uh, Melissa Matheson, the screenwriter of uh, E.T., the Extraterrestrial, and Henry Wallace, uh, Henry Thomas, Thomas, excuse me. Henry, well, you, you should remember Henry Wallace, huh? Yeah. Never heard of him. Uh, Melissa, what was, uh, uh, I understand there's a, guy, there's a funny story with uh, what you originally thought E.T. looked like and the, the day that uh, he was first shown to you. As you uh, imagined him as you wrote the story. He looked like what I thought he was going to really? look like. He went through a few really ridiculous stages. Uh, one time he had toes. Yeah. One time he had a little rear end. <laughs> it's just <laughs> really horrible. Uh, the, the, uh -huh. the first time that I saw him, I just, Stephen and I hugged him. But uh -huh. he was made out of clay at the time. And the girl who, uh, who had sculpted him, I said, I know this is ridiculous, and she says, no, I do it every day. So <laughs> everybody hugged, he was just, you wanted to hug him the second well, you saw him. What were the point in the, in the little kind of duck feet? I mean, was there, a, was there an evolutionary well, he design was, there? There is, way back there, there is total logic to E.T. We have a whole chemical breakdown for him and everything, and, yeah. and he was a semi-aquatic. Uh -huh. And so he had little webbed feet. Is that why he ends up in the, in the creek at one point? Yes. He's, uh, yeah, he's searching for water. Yeah. Uh, but he, he, gravity, everything. We figured he was squashy. He was, uh -huh. you know, we had it all worked out. We just make up the logic of why he looked the way he did. <laughs> Henry, uh, this, is, uh, this is the second movie you've had in uh, just about a, a year. Uh, isn't it Raggedy Man it came from? Um, yeah. Did you do any work before uh, Raggedy Man for Jack Fisk? No, Fisker's I, I did a, a play in San Antonio. Mm -hmm. just, um, it's just a small play. Yeah. Yeah. Did oh, um, music. Uh, I imagine it came as a big surprise when you got the first movie role? You know, yeah. Which one was more difficult to work on, yeah, Raggedy Man or E.T.? Uh, I'd say... Uh, I e. think E.T., you had to do more. Oh, well, yeah, but... Uh, in, um, in Raggedy Man, it was um, kind of tough because... Um, you know, it was supposed. To, we had to uh, walk out in the uh, to the outhouse in our underwear. Oh, that's uh, right. When yeah. it was uh, yeah. almost 30 degrees outside. <laughs> and, Get hazard pay for that. Yeah, no, but um, but in ET it was hard because I had to laugh a lot. <laughs> Even with the joke stopped being funny after 20 takes or something. <laughs> uh, but, Yes. Are you going to work on another film now? Maybe uh, after this summer. After the summer? Yeah. You have to go to summer school? No. Take a little vacation now. Huh? Yeah. A little break. Um, uh, director Steve Spielberg was uh, was saying that he has a very hard time these days, you know, dealing with uh, you know graphic violence and things like that. And um, his other film, Poltergeist, which is out, uh, you know, issues and any of that. And E.T. is pretty much the same way. I assume you it's share that. It's not much violence on <laughs> E.T. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, it's pointless. Yeah. It's not, I don't think it's entertaining, mm -hmm. so. We were, um, uh, we got into that, we were kind of searching around for the elements of what really makes a broad mass appeal picture and whether or not it's, uh, it, it would seem with films like this that it really does have to capture um, the imagination of children and the child imagination still left in adults. Um, and then mm -hmm. perhaps that uh, excludes uh, you know, some of the more gory th uh, yeah. elements that have been but appearing. Kathy Kennedy, the producer, says that she figures anybody who leaves and doesn't like E.T., the person E.T., there's something seriously wrong with them. <laughs> <laughs> and that's my feeling, too. If you don't like it, you're never going to like it. It's just if you want the other thing, yeah. that's it. But I think that um, that part of the success is that, that the audience becomes, you become a co-conspirator in the movie. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's your room, it's your closet, it's your E.T., and yeah. you're in on it. Yeah, I still, felt, I still felt for a long time like I was hiding one from mom yeah. again, like the old days. Yeah, <laughs> so, I mean, we've all done it. We've all hidden something. <laughs> so, this was... The, um, uh, you've worked in the past, you've worked on Black Stallion, and... Uh, the Notes, Escape Artist, which has come out yet. Yes. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about that real fast? The Black Escape Stallion. Artist, yeah. The Escape Artist, to tell you the truth, I don't know much about. I wrote yeah. the first couple of drafts and then left the project, and then another writer picked it up from there mm -hmm. and wrote a couple of drafts, and then they made the movie. And 
I don't. Um, uh, am I right that that was due out late this spring? And I was. Been, I know, haven't huh? been in touch. Yeah. I haven't seen it, so I don't. I don't know. Yeah. Um, what? Um, uh, what? Uh, is the story essentially right that we have here that uh, while working with um, Spielberg on Raiders of the Lost Ark out in the Sahara Desert somewhere, they said, uh, yeah, he we said, were, this is the story, and he asked you to write we it? We were out looking for scorpions. Stephen was teaching me how to, the right way to turn over a rock to find it, and we were finding huge scorpions. And he told me this idea of, well, what about this little man got stranded on Earth? And it just sort of grew right there. We had to get in a car and drive eight hours to the ocean. And by the time the we were, no, no, by the time we got there, we had shook hands on it and we're doing it. Uh -huh. The um, uh, do you uh, uh, do you think there's there's some sort of a renaissance going on with films like this that are ta they're they're dealing with you know, children's lives and and they seem to be a lot more innocent, playful than. Uh, I mean, well, there I think to there has to be a backlash for yeah. uh, for the from the. Uh, gory movies and the, yeah. you know, the killer movies, I think. And I think that people, I personally would like to go to the movies to see things that I can't see mm -hmm. in life. And it's probably offends some people that I don't like those serious divorces, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. It's like, see stuff you can't see. Yeah. And that's what Stephen does. And I think that that's, that's fun. Henry, what was your favorite, favorite movie last year, other than Raggedy Man? Um, I liked, uh, Raiders. Yeah. How many times did you see it? Uh, let's see, at least uh, four or five. <laughs> yeah. I saw it a lot of times in. Um, I liked I liked Star Wars better than Empire. You did? Yeah, I like Yoda in Empire and, oh, yeah. and the fight, the sword fight between Darth Vader and Luke. Yeah. The, um, yeah, Melissa, what are you going to work on next now? Uh, I'm working on something, but... Yeah, top secret. Right. I wish you the best luck. Thank you. Melissa Matheson and Henry Thomas, uh, E.T.